Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Basic or Service Now Learning. So in today's video, we are going to talk about one of the Service Now API that is Array Utils. So this API contains ready-made functions which are very useful to perform array logics while doing scripting. So in this video, through use case implementation, we will cover each and every aspect of array utils. So without wasting your much time, so let's see what is array util API in ServiceNow. So in ServiceNow, array util API is basically a out of the box script include which contain useful functions which we can use while writing scriptings. So those functions are concat, unique, union, intersect, ensure array, contains and index of. I am not saying that all of the array logics we can perform through array utils but yes some of the logics some of the things we can perform through array utils. So in this video we will discuss all those concepts in detail through use cases. So let's see what all use cases we are going to implement today. So the use case scenarios are we have to merge two array Second use case is that check if array contains the required value, right? Sometimes we got a requirement where some value has been given where we have to check first that whether that value is available in the array or not. And then we have a Boolean reply, right? True or false. If value is available, then perform this task. If value is not available, then perform that task, right? The third use case is find what all distinct value or different value given array contains in comparison to other available arrays. The fourth use case is find out the index or position or required element in an array. The fifth use case is find what all elements are common in all given arrays. Let's say we have three arrays. So there can be a possibility that all those three arrays must be containing some common values, right? That we have to find out. Sixth, combine all arrays, but it should only contain unique value. Seventh, find out find what all unique values a single array contains. Here we are talking about only single array, right? Let's say we have an array which contains 50 values and there are lots of values which are duplicate. In that way, we have to find all the values which are unique in that particular array. And the last use case which we are going to implement that is convert JavaScript object to JavaScript array. Okay, so let's move to ServiceNow personal development instance. So we can implement these use case scenarios in our instance. Okay. So friends, this is my ServiceNow personal development instance. So before implementing uh, the use cases, let me show you the script include which is there out of the box in ServiceNow instance. Let's open in another browser. So type array over here. So here we have four script includes. This is the one which we need that is array util. So see this is the script include which is already there in service now. Personal development instance where we have the functions declared. Let's say index of ensure array, concat, convert array. So instead of writing this code, what we have to do, we only have to call this method and accordingly the implementation will be done. Okay. So we have, we don't have to write code over here, right? What we have to do, we have to write logic where we required in server side. So we can use this array util anywhere in the server side script. So the today demonstration or today use cases we are going to implement in background script. So for that, a background open this in another tab see here okay so this is basically an editor if you don't have this type of editor install browser extension that is sn utils so that you will be getting a will be giving you a suggestion while writing the scripts so here today we are going to explore array utils already created three arrays just to save time let me paste it over here so I have pasted all those three arrays over here that is first array second array and the third array the, I have given the name very simple so that at least we can understand that what array we are using and what is happening 
The colors are given over here green, brown, red, orange, yellow. And some of the colors are common in all these three arrays that is green and orange. See, in second array, we also have green and orange. And the third array, we also have green and orange. Okay. So that while executing the use case, we should know that what is common, what is not common. Okay. So let's see how we can uh, declare the array utils and how we can use all the methods which we have in array utils. So prior to that, I'll showcase you one more thing which you need that is how to find array length. So to find array length, just info. What we have to do, we have to type array name. And there we have a property that is array length. I'm telling you this because most of the times when we are writing array concepts, then we have to find out the length of array too, right? So see, for the first array, the length is 5. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? Just for a demonstration I have given. So now, not wasting your much time, let's start with array utils now. So here, the same way we define for script include, we have to define the object. Let me give the name the same as it is. You can give any name you want. New array utils. In this way, we can declare the array util because it is also a script include right here, right? Or, or we can also use the API name, but here I am using the common way to call script include in anywhere in the server side script. So this array util object will be used to call any of the method which are mentioned in this script. First use case is, let me see, that we have to merge two array, right? Okay. So how we can merge? We have a function called concat. So by using this array util dot concat, we can merge two arrays. So let's say first array, and then we can give the name of the second array. Let me print also gs.info here. So as it is, see, both the arrays get concat, merge, green, brown, red, orange. See, but the duplicate values are not removed. All the values, let's say 5 here and 5 here, means 10 values are getting displayed over here. See here right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 right so if we are concatenating two arrays it means what all values it contained will get concatenate right so we are done with the first use case it's very simple to implement that's what i have said it's a very simple api it basically reduces our time while writing array logics right now the second use case is Check if array contains the required value. Let's say if I'm talking about this first array only and I have to check that whether this array contains red value or not. Currently we have only given five values so it is easy for us to just to see and check, right? But let's say if it contains 2000, value, 2000 elements, 5000 elements, right? Then what to do? Then we have a, another method that is uh, array utils dot contains right here this is the method which we have to use what we have to pass we have to pass two parameters the array name for which we have to check the value okay and the string or the any value which we have to search let's say red is a string value that's what i'm giving into a string if it is a numerical value you can directly give it a numerical value over here it will return true or false to us if it contains the value it will return true if it will not contain the value it will return false okay so let me see here. First, me write the thing over here. Okay. Let me print it now. I am writing this because I will be pasting this script into my website. So it will be like available for you from there. You can copy and you can use, right? See here. True. Because it contains red, right? That's why it is returning true. If I am giving any random value, let's say this, okay, it will return, you know, right? Let's say if I am giving yellow, see here, it is 
pending true so in that way we can search the required value is available in the array or not right the second use case is done and let's navigate to the third use case so the third use case say that we have to find out all distinct or we can say different value in a given array contains in comparison to other available arrays so let's say we have three arrays over here the first array second array and the third array and we want that what all distinct values different values first array contains which are not there in the second array and in the third array how we can do that let's see required array contains so that we can see like ps uh, dot info okay that is for printing that now array util that is an object dot if we only have to use and we have to give the array name firstly we have to give the array name for which we are checking that is first array and another time we have to give the other arrays right this second array that's one so it is giving me a two values that is brown red yellow means it says that the value brown red yellow is only available in the first array these values are not available in the second array in that way if there is a requirement where two arrays are containing lots of values and we have to see that what all values are different uh, there in the first array in that way we can do even though we can also pass the third array to see in all arrays right let's say we have number of arrays we can type all the arrays but the logic is that this array will be showing the different values only see run brown red yellow it means brown red yellow are not there in the third array also see here okay so in this way the third logic is also done so let me comment this also this also let's see what is the fourth use case so the fourth use case is find out the index or position of a required element in an array so let's say we have a requirement where uh, we have thousands of values right and there is a value let's say some incident number let's say 9048 and we want a location of the index that in the array where it basically located what exactly the index number is right so in that way how we can find out find out the index or position of an element in an array right how we can find out same way array utils object dot index of index of have to give the array name in which array we are looking for to find finding that value let's say first array and what basically we are finding out the position of orange let's say okay so let me give the position of array right here orange and run script okay let me print it gs dot info oh, sorry sorry print it is saying third see one zero one two three right so the first position is of an element is zero you all know right zero one two three so orange is in third place if i place yellow see here then the position will get changed it is showing me four or if let's say we have a two orange then what will be the output let's see here orange let's see run script oh let over here also so it is displaying me third means whatever the first value it found it will be displaying that value so we also have a orange on the one two three four fifth position but it is only displaying as a third position so in case if we have multiple uh, values available then it will display the first value it found okay so in this way we can found out the element position okay here we also have one more thing which we can pass the third parameter let's say if i pass the parameter let's say four okay so let's see how it will be displaying over here it is displaying me five why it is displaying because this four basically is saying that we have to start searching from the fourth element means this one zero one two three four right so from here the particular cursor will begin to find out the element let's say if i am giving two 
so it will give me three see here why because from the second element it starts searching so zero one two from the red it starts searching so the first position is orange so it will give us the position of this element i think now you have an idea right what this particular parameter do right okay so the so the fourth use case is also done so now we have to implement the fifth use case that find what all elements are common in all given arrays right so let's say common it means we have to intersect means let's say green and orange are two values which are common in all these right so we have to only find out the common not all so for that let me comment this same way object dot then we have to use in terms of common intersect okay. intersect and we have to pass all the arrays where we need that intersection in this way one then we have to give the second array right and then we can give the third array we can give more than two arrays here right So see, as I told earlier, that all these three arrays have a common thing that is green and orange. Okay, so it is intersection is basically displaying as the common elements in the available arrays. Okay, so we are done with that use case also now. Let's get into another use case that we have to combine all arrays, but it should only contain unique values. Means now what we have to do? We have to combine all these arrays means we have to display the result of all these arrays in a single go or we can like uh, put that result in a particular different array and we can print that arrow also right in that way so but the requirement says that it should contain the unique values not the duplicate one what happens earlier when we merge the two arrays earlier it will display as a, uh, the all the values right not unique but now we need a unique values only so for that what we have to do here we have done intersect now we have to do union union i believe intersection and union we already have like studied in our classes i think seventh or eighth right same object array util so why i am using this object again and again because see here we already have written the code if you are give if you have given some another object then you have to use that object only right array util dot union right what i am going to do that i am copying all these array here right because i have three arrays only i am using that i am saying gs dot info Info. Okay. Run the script. See, here we have output: brown, red, yellow, purple, black, blue, white, orange, green. See, orange and green were common everywhere, right? But here it is only displayed once and pink. So these are basically unique colors. Okay. Or how we can do this also that we can create a new variable where. print this fourth array so that depends on you how you are want to display and what exactly logic says what exactly the requirements say like, okay because i am just directly printing it i am not storing it anywhere in the other array because i am giving a demonstration but you can also use uh, if you have to use that array or values anywhere right you have to store that in another i can say uh, array or another variable in that way you can also display it right so i think we are done with the sixth use case now let's implement the seventh use case so it is saying that what 
all unique values a single array contains so we are talking about unique values for a single array right so let me comment this We have to use unique okay unique and then what we have to do we have to give the array name that array name is let's say first so we have two orange over here right so one orange needs to be removed i have given name over here then i have to give gs info just to print gs info right so see displaying me only five elements here we have six so it removed one of the orange and only displaying the first orange right so in that way we can find out the unique elements of an array also right these are basically a basic syntaxes which we have to remember by writing the code sometimes interviewer asks right otherwise you can search over the google and you can implement it right so it's not difficult to do the the demonstration which i am giving basically give, providing you a more clarity that how you can use it how simple it is basically some of the times when we have not used right we always think it's very difficult to use the apis right where we have to use how we have to use but believe me whatever apis we have in service now all the apis are meant to be simple for us right it's are meant or created so that we can use it in a simple way and easily to make the things easier for service not developers right so here we are done with the seventh also now we are going to the eighth one where we are converting the javascript object to a javascript array so this is the use case but uh, practically if i say i have i never did this earlier but for demonstration perspective i am giving you a bit idea of it otherwise uh, when I do code, I never found any scenario in that way that I will be using this particular function. So let's see how we can use or how we can implement it. Okay. So let me mention. So I believe you all are aware of JavaScript object, right? So I have one of the JavaScript object I have created earlier. Let me paste it over here. So friends, here I am pasting the JavaScript objects. I believe you all are all aware of this, right? And how we can access these values? Let me demonstrate to you also. Give me a second that how we can access JS dot info. Right. And here, if I have to show this particular name, then how I can use demo object? Just for information, I am sharing. If you know that, then that is great. See here, it is showing a green plant name. See here, or if I have to display this, or I have to use this value vegetables. In that way, we can access the object. Oh, sorry. In this way, we can access the objects. So vegetable. I can use the vegetable name. And step. See here, it is showing a bean. So vegetables basically is beans. So when we do coding in service now, right? Most of the scenarios are basically coming from arrays and objects, right? So these are the very important things we we should know how to manipulate the data, how to write the code, where to use in the script, right? It's look like very simple, but while writing the code, remembering all these things is very much required, right? Where what to implement, how to implement. So this is not required just for demonstration i have set so the use case says that we have to convert the javascript object to the javascript array and already we have an object right demo object and we have to convert into the array so what is the function or method we are going to execute let's see okay so same way array util dot ensure we have to use here we have to give the name Let's see here we can give the name in that way and yes dot info right in this way we can convert here manuscript 
so it is displaying as object and object it means we have to stringify it to display the data how we can stringify we can stringify in that way json here or you can store in any of the variable and then you can use but I'm using it directly see here and I'm also using vs.info right see here let's go see here now this is a particular object right see here now we also have this brackets over here of an array it means whatever object we have we have converted the same into an array in that way but I don't think like where it will be useful if you have any idea if you have any use case where you have implemented or you have seen somewhere then please provide that in the comment box so at least I can try from mind also okay so there is one more thing I want to tell you that how you can see the particular variable is an array or not so there is a syntax called array This is not from the array util this is just for your understanding array is array if you have to check that whether this is an array or not you can check in that way you have to give this particular syntax okay just to think let me see it will return the boolean value okay boolean means true and false okay so let me comment this because we already done with this it is saying false because we have not converted this demo object here to an array and we are asking that is array or not but it is an object right see here so it is saying false but if we say here just a second after so what I have done here is that I have only given demonstration just to find out whether the particular variable is an array or not we can check through this particular uh, syntax right so friends we are done with all the use cases given over here i think all the methods which are there in the array utils we have covered in this video so friends this is all for this video and if you are looking for more service now topics you can navigate to our website that is www.basicoservicenowlearning.in okay so if you feel that this video is helpful for you then please like share and subscribe and please do not forget to provide your suggestions feedback and questions in comment section below thank you friends have a nice day bye bye